Welcome Extreme Home Market owners. This is a tutorial video on how to set up your light guns in MAME and in IR gun light games um, in a different folder. And I'll show you how to do that. So right now I'm in Arcade Classics. I'm gonna hit my Fire One Start. That's gonna get me into here. And from here, I'm just gonna hit my coin. It doesn't matter what game you're on. Um, then I'm gonna hit my coin and then it's gonna bring the menu up on my right. I'm gonna go down to Open MAME. So Player One Start. That's gonna open up MAME. Now I'm just in the MAME settings. So from here I can use my trackball and my mouse clicks. So I'm just gonna double click on configure options. I'm gonna go into general inputs. From here, I'm gonna set up player one light gun. I'm gonna player one. And from here, um, we're gonna to wanna to go down to set up the buttons. So for this one, it's already set up, but I can show you guys how to do it. So for button one, you're gonna to wanna to do your trigger. So you gotta kinda of come back and kind of hover over where you want your trigger to be. You don't want to kind of be off screen, otherwise it might not read. So player one start, I know it's a little tricky. So player one start, and then I'm just gonna hit my trigger. Now that program might trigger it. So now if I want to add my buttons and my mouse clicks, um, usually typically you want it to say append down here. And if it doesn't, you can hit your player one joystick to the left to append. So basically that, that you're just adding you want to add your buttons back in as well um, so player one start and I'm going to add my first button there and then now player one start again and I want to add my first mouse click and then that's how you'll set up for the player one button one in MAME and then again I'll go down for player button two so for this one I typically hold the gun like towards me so the sensor isn't reading and for this one, the button is on the right. So you're gonna get gun one, button two. And then now, again, uh, you wanna append, and I'm gonna hit player one start again, and I wanna add my button number two on player one. I'm gonna append again and hit player one start, and then my, mouse, my second mouse click. And then now I'm gonna go down and do my third button. So again, player one start, and now I'll do the button on the left here when it's facing me. So gun one, button zero. And then again, I'm gonna go through and make sure my third buttons are in for that. Because if we don't do this, you guys, it's for, for a lot of the games, you're not gonna have your buttons. So we wanna make sure we input these back in. So again, start and my mouse click. And now the button part for your gun is set up. So now I'm gonna go all the way up because we're gonna set up the, the, the Y and the X axis. So what we're looking for is light gun Y analog. So for this one again, is a little tricky. You gotta kinda come back again. You gotta kinda come back, get in that blue area again. And you gotta hit player one start and just slowly go up until you see gun one Y. That's what we want. So now that's set. Now I'm gonna go up to light gun X analog, player one start, and I'm gonna go to the right until you get gun one X. Now you're all set up in MAME. So that's all set up. So I just wanna return to the previous menu. Um, for player two, you're gonna go in and basically do the same thing for player two, but you won't have to add your mouse clicks. So everything that I did with gun one, you do the same thing with gun two. So after you get both your guns set up, back out, save your configuration. Now that saved my current configuration, now I can back out and back out again and now you're all set up in MAME but there is another folder basically where you play a lot of your light gun games so I'm going to back out again and if I go down to the IR light gun folder so IR light gun games so from here I'm going to hit my player one start and what we're looking for in here is gonna be 
um, like the, the classic games, like Area 51, I would probably just pick. And you're going to hit your player one coin. Because if you click on any other one, it's not going to open up MAME IR guns. That's what we're looking for. Open MAME IR gun folder. Because it's a, it's runs off a different part of MAME, basically. So that's why we need to come in here and set them up, to if they're not set up. So again, I'm going to hit player one start. Again, that's going to bring me back into this menu again. So I'm going to go back to configure options, general inputs, and I'm just going to start again with player one. And for this one, you don't have to set up your other buttons. I mean, you're more than happy to, but for just for this folder, I mean, you're just using your light guns. So again, I'm going to do the same thing that I was showing you guys in the, in the previous video. I'll just kind of show you again. So for this one, it's my trigger. So I want to have my trigger lined up, I player one start, shoot, and then again, you'll come down, do the same thing, player one start, have your gun facing you, this will be the right button, come down, player one start, and then left button. Again, I'm not setting up the buttons, you guys, because this is just for gun games, so you really don't need to have the other buttons, but if you like, you can, you can add them in. And then again, for this one, we want to do the, the Y analog and the X analog again. And then for the full, this gun folder, we want to do the AD stick as well, because some of the gun games in here, uh, use your Tron stick or a flight stick or some of the other games used to use, but we just like to trick it to use the light guns. So again, I'm on AD stick, Y analog, fire one start and just go up slowly in this blue area. And there you go, it's programmed. So same thing, AD stick, X analog. You go off to the right, there you go, set up. So now you back out and again, you wanna go in player two and do the same thing to the same button controls. So for player one, same thing, those three buttons. And then you'll go back up and you wanna do the same thing for player two, Y analog, X analog and then your AD stick as well. And then when you're all done, you back out, save your configuration, back out again, back out again, and then back out one more time. You're back on that file folder. Now you're ready to go in here, pick any of these games, and you're ready to have fun.